Welcome to the third episode of my series called Behind the Interview, where I give you the backstory of how I secured some of these Studio Q interviews that you see on my page. This episode features none other than comedian and radio host Ricky Smiley. First and foremost, I'd like to send my deepest condolences on the recent passing of Ricky Smiley's son, Brandon Smiley. Even though I only interviewed and met Ricky Smiley one time, I fondly remember him talking about Brandon and his son Malik, and specifically Brandon doing comedy and how proud he was. Now, I got to interview Ricky Smiley in my hometown of Springfield, Illinois. And if you've watched the last two videos of mine, you'll know that Springfield, Illinois is not the hot spot where people come and do comedy shows, concerts, nothing of the sort. So this was a big deal that he was going to even be in town. As soon as I found out he was coming, I called my friend Rod and I was like, yo, we got to go see Ricky Smiley at the Funny Bone because I got to interview him. And Rod was like, let's do it. So I grabbed the video cam and yup, this is what it looked like. It was old school. It was almost 20 years ago, maybe even over 20. So Rod and I bought tickets, took the camera and headed over to see Ricky Smiley perform at the Funny Bone. Now, mind you, Ricky Smiley don't know we coming. He has no idea who I am, but that doesn't stop me from trying to get an interview with him. After Ricky Smiley's final show, I was waiting in this little area that you see where we're hugging and I just asked him for an interview. He saw me, he saw Rod, he saw the camera. And when I tell you this man was so kind, even though he was exhausted, I basically just kind of accosted him like TMZ, which didn't exist back then, and asked him for an interview. And we were just the only ones there. And Ricky just looked at us and said, yes, I will never, ever, ever forget his kindness because you could see the fatigue all over him. He had did probably uh, two shows, two days in a row, and he was exhausted, but he still said yes. Not only did I get an interview with Ricky Smiley, but he also put on a show. He got up and did a dance from his Q fraternity. I mean, he gave us a burst of energy at the end. Like he was so kind. I will always remember this, but it wouldn't have happened if I did not, you know, have enough nerve to go and just ask him. He could have said no, but guess what? Ricky Smiley said yes, and I will always be grateful for that. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you so much for saying yes to a total stranger. I'll never forget this.